What is going on, Miami Heat Talk fans? It is your boy, Ernest, and I am back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Very excited about this episode, you guys. Today is an amazing day. It is June 30th, and today at 6 p.m., NBA free agency begins. There's a lot of rumors. There's a lot of whirlwind going on, so I want to give you guys all the updates. Now, before we get started, please, guys, take a moment to smash that like button, Help your boy with this YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Every time we hit it, got something special for you guys. As I mentioned, I got something planned for you guys. I will mention it this upcoming weekend. Still working on the details. Now, with all that said, you guys, off we go on another Miami Heat Talk adventure. Now, before we get to the rumors and all that stuff that's going on, I want to talk a little bit about what's currently going on with certain Miami Heat players. <clears throat> Yesterday, I posted a video for updates about Gabe Vincent and Max Struess. I got some more to give you guys. Let's start with Gabe Vincent. So yesterday, Gabe Vincent met with the Miami Heat to discuss a possible contract. Gabe Vincent turned them down. From what I'm reading, from what I hear, the Miami Heat offered Gabe Vincent a very similar contract to Caleb Martin, which is what we all thought was, was originally going to happen at the end of the season, not after the playoffs. Uh, it looks like Miami lowballed him. They offered him a contract around $7 million a year. So it was a three-year deal around $21 to $22 million. Um, there was no interest from Gabe Vincent's side even though that he'd get most of the money back because there's no state income tax. Um, so he turned that offer down. So they didn't offer Gabe Vincent the money that he was looking for. I'm sure he's looking anywhere from 10 to $12 million, mid-level exception money. Uh, we all know what's going on with the, with the second apron taxing and the tax penalties. If you guys still don't know, take a moment to watch my previous videos. I break it all down. So as of now, Miami's trying to uh, save Mickey Harrison money, it looks like, from paying tax penalties. But that's not the only reason, you guys. Hang on tight. Now, before I get there, let's talk about the next player, Max Struess. So there's no meeting between Max Struess and the Miami Heat, you guys. So it looks like that Max Struess may not be coming back. And a little update about Gabe Vincent, the fact that he turned down Miami Heat's offer, it looks like Gabe Vincent may not also return to the Miami Heat. But that one's still a possibility. There's still room for negotiations. Now, back to Max Struess, you guys. Um, there has been rumors that, like I mentioned yesterday, Indiana does seem to be uh, a suitor for Max Struess to offer him more than the mid-level exception. But another team that's come into play is Cleveland. Cleveland is keeping their eye very tight on Max Struess. Now, what Cleveland is open and doing is a sign-in trade with Miami. This works for both parties because it gives Max Struess the monies that he's looking for, but it also lets Miami not lose him for nothing. You know, we can try. There, there's, uh, I don't know any names. As soon as I hear something, I'll let you guys know there's no names being mentioned. They're just discussing a possible sign and trade if Cleveland is open to doing that. Um, so that's an update about Max Struess. So it looks like Max ain't going to be returning. Another update, you guys, it was reported by Omer Yurtsevin's agent yesterday that the Miami Heat did not pick up his $2.1 million qualifying offer. Um, so it looks like that he's not going to be returning to the Miami Heat. I found that very confusing because it's only $2.1 million. That's basically a veteran's minimum salary. Um, we did see Omar Yurtsevin have a great showing in the 2022 season when Bam Matabayo was injured. Um, he was in line of starting next to Bam Adebayo this past season. He got injured the first game of the preseason against Minnesota, and he spent six months on the shelf. When he came back, he never got played. So that's telling me a few things. One, that's telling me something that Eric Spolstra in Miami is noticing that we don't know. And possibly it looks like that they're going with Orlando Robinson. If you guys remember, this past season, Orlando Robinson basically did what Omer Yurtz have been coming off the bench. So Miami's very confident with the people that they can bring in. And remember, they just picked up Patrick Gardner, that undrafted center that can knock down threes. So maybe they see some potential in him as well. So they're basically getting, letting Yurtz have been go. Um, I know that bums out a lot of you guys, but... 
trust me, you guys, if Miami didn't pick him up, it's for a reason. So those are the updates for the Miami Heat players, you guys. Now let's move on to outside of Miami Heat players. Now there were two reports yesterday. Um, James Harden officially opt in to his player option. Here's the funny part. Uh, not the funny part. Here's the, here's the thing. He opted in requesting a trade. James Harden is on the block and he's only making $35.5 million. He's not making that $50 million max threshold. He took less money so P.J. Tucker can go to the team, which is funny. P.J. Tucker left Miami to go to Philadelphia to play with James Harden. Now James Harden wants to leave. Irony. Uh, <laughs> screw you, P.J. Tucker. Anyway, <laughs> so there's a few teams that are in talks with Philadelphia. Uh, there's the front runner, which is the Los Angeles Clippers. There's the New York Knicks. And there's the Miami Heat. Miami Heat's in play. Um, I don't know what the package looks like, but it may be a package not including Tyler Hero. So with James Harden requesting a trade, you guys, I don't know if Miami should be pulling in for James Harden. Because if James Harden's requesting the trade and you trade James Harden for a Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, future first round picks throw in Victor Oladipo for an expiring contract. Actually, no, uh, for James Harden, you can just do Kyle Lowry and Victor Oladipo and draft picks. Uh, the money matches, uh, those are two expiring contracts for Philadelphia. But here's the thing. They have the MVP, Joel Embiid. You want to please him. So if James Harden's leaving and Philadelphia can't make any moves, then they may be open to trading Joel Embiid. So you're hearing it first, you guys. I think that the Miami Heat, may just let James Harden go somewhere else. Because if James Harden doesn't go back to Philly, which he's obviously not doing, Joel Embiid becomes available. Keep your eye on that, you guys. But another name besides James Harden that popped up was Kyrie Irving. At the Miami Heat, there's a report that said earlier today that the Miami Heat are shifting their focus away from Damian Lillard onto Kyrie Irving. I don't buy that. I don't believe that. That's a report. That's a rumor. I'm letting you guys know. Do I think Kyrie Irving is an incredible talent like Dame Lillard? Absolutely. Dude just needs to play basketball games. You know, he's a problem. He's dramatic. He doesn't like playing a lot. But I will say this. He's very, uh, he does have a good relationship with Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler. Maybe this Miami Heat culture can shape him up if we do trade for him. Um, I know that's not going to be the easiest thing. Kyrie Irving, he comes with a lot of baggage, but he's a winner. And he's a guy that averages 27 points a game. He can be clearly the number one option on this team with a pick and roll offense of him and Bam Adebayo with Jimmy Butler as your best defender. Jesus Christ. I mean, come on. And if you don't have to trade Tyler Hero to get one of these guys, now you're having a, a big four. I mean, the, M Miami has a lot of avenues, you guys. And like I said, the free agency starts today at 6 p.m. All these, There's going to be a lot of rumors and speculations going on. Uh, but as of right now, you guys, back to what I was saying about uh, Gabe Vincent, Max Struess, and Omer Yurtsevin. If Miami is not doing everything they can to bring back this team that just went to the NBA Finals, what that tells me is that there's something going on that we don't know about. This organization ain't stupid, you guys. We're not going to let Max Struess and Gabe Vincent walk for nothing. I know this. If Riley's not pressing hard to bring back Struess and Vincent and let Yurtsevin walk, that means there's something bigger in play and a trade will happen. So for those of you that are pessimistic, thinking about, oh, no, Miami's not making any moves. Oh, no, Miami's going to let Vincent and Struess walk. Guys, I think this is bigger. I'm fully confident in this team. I, I have faith in the Godfather. Andy Ellisberg is the best numbers guy in the NBA. He's the best capologist. They're going to figure this out. So I want to hear from you guys. Excuse me. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer James Harden or Kyrie Irving? Also, what do you think about the fact that Miami not bringing back Gabe Vincent and Max Drews and Omer Yurtsevin? I've seen a lot of you guys in the comments saying you don't want to bring these three guys back. So I'm sure that makes a lot of you happy. Let me know what you think. 
I'm a little bit bummed about the Gabe Vincent news. I really want Gabe Vincent back here. He is the embodiment of Miami Heat culture, but I get it. The Heat are doing everything they can to cut costs. They may wait and see. You know, Miami offered him this contract because Gabe Vincent, they're, they're, they're trying to close him now. Maybe with a good feeling in the finals, they, you know, sometimes in sales you do that. You lowball him. Um, maybe we'll match whatever he's offered. Who knows, you guys? But let me know what you think. Again, guys, hit the like button. Click that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell for all the updates. Hope this video updated you guys and gave you all the info you need. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. You know I respond to all of you the best way I can. Thank y'all for the love and support. And until next time, your boy Ernest out. That's enough said. Let's go heat.